Hey there everybody, this video is all about how to grow a sweet potato in a 5 gallon bucket. So if you've previously seen my sweet potato time lapse video, you'll know that I had the sweet potato sitting around for a while, and when I started to notice it was growing these slips off the side of it, I figured it'd be a cool idea for a propagation video. So I did a little bit of homework, and found out that you can set these in a little bit of water, and they'll put out roots pretty quickly. So today's January 6th. Our potato's been sitting in this little container of water for 17 days now. And for the record, I change the water maybe about every four to five days using a syringe as to not move the, the potato too much so the time lapse looks good. But I have been changing the water. So we can take our potato out and I know it's been 17 days, but obviously some of these slips were a little more well formed. Um, for that so as you can see looks good all right so we're outside I've got my drill here and I'm using a half inch drill bit you can see that so I'm gonna punch some holes in our bucket We just have 12 small half inch holes here in our five gallon bucket. So this next part is super important. You need to pick quality gardening soil. I've worked with so many low quality soils before and it can totally ruin your plant growth. So for this, I'm just using some miracle Grow formula. I'll list out the soil composition in the description. So with our bucket full of soil, I've kind of carved out a little bed for our sweet potato here and we're gonna put the entire potato in we're not gonna cut the slips off or anything I'm gonna just put the entire thing right here in our bucket and what I'm trying to do here is make sure that the roots are fully covered but the slips are not so I'm gonna go around and especially where these smaller sweet potato slips are I'm gonna just lightly sprinkle in some dirt and we're gonna leave the majority of our potato uncovered so you want any watering that you do to be super light you don't want the roots to be waterlogged at all my soil was already kind of damp to begin with but I have one cup of water here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it on very close to the root base of our slips Sweet, looks great. So it's been two days since I planted the sweet potato in the bucket, and some viewers who watched my sweet potato time-lapse video pointed out that the leaves looked malnourished and malformed. I think that was due to the lack of light. I've noticed that since I planted it, these leaves down here at the base are starting to form properly. So I really don't know how this is gonna turn out. The sweet potato may die, but I'm gonna do a part two video where I try the same technique in the summer, maybe around May when I harvest this sweet potato bucket. And I really bet that when we try this in the late spring or early summer, when we have consistent highs in the 90s and long 13, 14 hour days, this is gonna do a lot better. But I have high hopes for this sweet potato. I hope this video is helpful to equip everybody to grow sweet potatoes at home. Thanks for watching everybody.